5 metrics to track for unlocking your full potential. Unlocking your full potential sounds like a scary task. How am I supposed to know if I'm on the right track? Am I going to be successful? What do I do to better myself? If you have any of these questions, you've come to the right place. There are ways to track how far along you are on your journey to realising your potential. It's not a shot in the dark. Here are five metrics to track for unlocking your full potential. 1. Efficiency Efficiency is simple enough to understand. It's how quickly you complete things. Efficiency is in everything. You can be efficient at building habits, at writing essays, etc. By tracking your efficiency, you're tracking how fast you work. By knowing this, you're setting yourself up for success. If you know exactly how long you need to complete something, you'll be able to block out time in your schedule perfectly. Tracking your efficiency also allows you to see how far you've come. If you used to take three hours to complete one project, but now you only need two hours, you've increased your efficiency by 33%. Efficiency is a metric of time, and by tracking it, you can save time. 2. Progress You can only track progress if you have clearly defined goals. So, if you already have your goals, your progress is how close you are to achieving that goal. This is why setting steps for yourself is so important. If you have one big goal but no steps, it'll be very difficult to gauge how close you are to achieving that goal. If you have lots of little goals along the way, however, it's much easier to see how far you've come. Set smaller goals that directly lead to your big goal. Then keep track of how many small goals you've achieved. Yep, that's your progress. By keeping track of your progress, you can see how far you have to go. But you'll also see how far you've come. 3. Error rate Making mistakes isn't always a bad thing. In fact, keeping track of your mistakes, or errors, is important. Keep track of how many mistakes you make, which mistakes you make the most often, and how each mistake affects you differently. If you track your error rate, you'll be able to work on improving your weaknesses. Unlocking your full potential is not a straight shot, and knowing your mistakes will keep you self-aware on the twisted journey. Plus, if you track your errors, you'll be able to look back and see how many fewer mistakes you're making now versus a few months ago. 4. Downtime Keep track of how much time you spend away from working on unlocking your potential. Breaks are important, and you should definitely take time to relax. But you shouldn't let yourself get sidetracked by things just because they're easy. Keep track of how much downtime you're giving yourself, and you'll be able to plan appropriately for the future. 5. Quality Quality is probably the hardest metric to define. At its core, quality is how good something is. If you're working on an object, the quality is how long that object lasts. If you're working with food, the quality is how it tastes and how good it is for you. To track quality, determine what quality means for you. Over time, you'll see your quality get better and better. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.